بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ما بعد Welcome back and uh, today we focus on in our 16th lesson a verb that has uh, many different derivatives and it's uh, very important all of them have been important but this one is something that maybe we use and perhaps I think it's uh, misunderstood and maybe even misappropriated and abused in the way that it is culturally understood and, and recognized. What is it? It is the three root letters of al-wawu, wal-qafu, wal-ya in this case. Ibn Faris rahmatullahi alayhi tells us, kalimatun wahidatun tadullu ala daf'i shay'in an shay'in bi ghayrihi. So, these three letters mean for you to protect yourself from something by means of another thing, by means of a third thing. So you are seeking to protect yourself from A by utilizing B, for example, right? And <clears throat> he gives us a bunch of, you know, uh, beautiful uh, things here where he's teaching us, وَوَقَيْتُهُ أَقِيَهُ وَقْيًا he goes through the derivative forms or sarf, the morphology. He says, وَالْوِقَايَةُ مَا يَقِيَ الشَّيْءِ الْوِقَايَة He says, what is used to protect yourself from something. So it's not just prevention, الْوِقَايَة being prevention, but it's really almost as though we're talking about a shield or a barrier. So to have a shield and a barrier from something, preventing it from affecting you, preventing it from, from afflicting you, um, is what we're looking at here. وَاتَّقِ اللَّهِ تَوَقَّهُ أَيْ إِجْعَلْ بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ كَالْوِقَايَةِ This is the part that I think uh, is especially important for us to understand. When we hear throughout the Qur'an and, and in the way that we use it, اتَّقِ اللَّهِ It's basically as though we are threatening somebody. As though we are threatening somebody and the majority of the times it'll be used when somebody is doing something wrong or displeasing and we'll say to them, اتَّقِ And we think that, you know, it's like fear Allah. That's the basic translation of what's given. But if we understand it from this linguistic uh, platform, اتَّقِ We're basically looking at you use Allah Azza wa Jal. You utilize Allah Azza wa Jal as your protector from whatever it is that's that you're dealing with. So you protect yourself through Allah Rabbul Alameen. Right? How are you going to, to do that? You make sure that your belief in Him, your sincerity towards Him, your trust in Him, that your, your, your aqeedah, that your creed with regards to Allah Azza wa Jal, that it's, it's going to be sound. So we protect ourselves from the, from the devil by our belief in Allah Rabbul Alameen. We protect ourselves from sin by remembering Allah Rabbul Alameen and so on. So this aspect of just fear Allah, it's, it's, it's not very accurate. Rather, it's protect yourself with Allah Azza Protect yourself by Allah Rabbul Alameen. And examples of that is, is something that should be very clear. When we hear, for example, in the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, and naturally in this month of Ramadan, it makes a lot of sense where he said, اِتَّقُوا النَّارَ وَلَوْ بِشِقِّ تَمْرَةِ And Ibn Fahd says, وَكَأَنَّهُ أَرَادَ إِجْعَلُوهَا وِقَايَةً بَيْنَكُمْ وَبَيْنَ النَّارِ When he said, protect yourself from the hell, from the fire of hell, even if it be through a piece of a date, not even the entirety of a date, meaning use that date as a means to protect you from being punished in hell, use that date as a reason, give it as charity, and to help us understand that charity as a whole is something that protects us from what we don't want of, of punishment and of uh, you know Allah Ta'ala holding back from us what He gives us because of being stingy on our part and so on and so forth. So looking at uh, Corpus Qur'an, we see that the second bullet point 166 times Allah Ta'ala is using it in the past tense of ittaqa. Ittaqa meaning that's the, uh, the person he guarded, he protected himself. Uh, you know, he, through Allah, of course, Allah Azza wa his faith and so on and so forth. Um, 17 times Allah Azza wa uses a noun form of taqwa, meaning this aspect of, of protection, this aspect of, of uh, guarding. 
and that 49 times he uses the plural form for the agent, the person who's actively engaged in doing this, the muttaqun, or in this case muttaqin, the person who is guarding themselves by Allah Rabbul Alameen, because of Allah Azza wa Jal, from whatever it would be of disobeying Allah Rabbul Alameen and anything of sins, that when that becomes a part of the person, so much so that it now becomes a label for them, it becomes a character trait, it becomes an adjective for them, they are regarded as muttaqeen, in this case the plural form. Allah Rabbul Alameen mentions it 49 times. So we see that um, almost 260 times Allah Azza wa Jal, in all of its different forms, He He uses and utilizes these within the Qur'an. And we ask Him, Rabbul Alameen, that He truly bless us in this month of Ramadan, that we can we can become and maintain ourselves as being from the muttaqin until the day that we die. Allahumma ameen. Wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabina Muhammad. Wa sallam taslim al-kathira.